Thank you for joining us today. My name is Sachin Padwal, and I'm the director of Global Big Box Solutions here at Google Cloud. Before Google Cloud, I held product leadership roles at Walmart Store Sync, and one of my favorite roles was supply chain. And I'm excited to be talking supply chain with Chris Smith, the vice president of IT supply chain at the Home Depot. Chris, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, Sachin, and I'm very glad to be here and excited for this great conversation. That's awesome. We look forward to the conversation as well. But before I jump in, Chris, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role? Absolutely. Um, like I said, I'm the vice president of supply chain at Home Depot. I also support our, our enterprise data warehouse, data analytics systems, and our growing machine learning practice at Home Depot. Um, I've been at Home Depot for 17 years. Uh, prior to that, I spent uh, another 16 years at another major retailer. So I've got basically 33 years of experience, mostly focused within the supply chain area and merchandising and enterprise data warehouse systems. Well, we look forward to learning a lot from you over the next 10 minutes. You know, as I think about the Home Depot, it's one of the premier interconnected retailers in the world. One of the complexities of your business is you're serving the needs of two different sets of consumers. One is the DIY folks, and the other are the pro customers who are looking for, you know, doing a big project, and they might need 30 or 40 things at the same time to start and kick off the project. As you think about supply chain and serving the needs of these two customers, how do you go about building a supply chain that meets the needs of these customers? Absolutely, great question. You know, we've been truly on a multi-year journey to take friction and build a seamless interaction model to support both the pro customer and the DIY customer. As part of that journey within supply chain, we've been building out a new network. Uh, part of that network, as we all know, the customer has really changed the way they shop. They're more in control of that experience and more and more they want fulfillment options. They want different fulfillment options and they want to be able to say, wherever, however, and whenever I want to be shopped, I'm, I want to be, you to be able to serve me effectively. As part of that, delivery and fulfillment has become an intro ingredient of becoming a truly interconnected retailer. And with that in mind, we've built out a new network that support fulfillment so that we can get to 90% of the US population with same day or next day service. So that'll be a key to our strategy to support both the pro and the DIY customer going forward. You know, one of the things you talked about was how the customer expectation is they want to get the product wherever they want, however they want. And you know, whether they want to pick up in the store or they want to get it delivered to their doorstep. Talk to us about how Home Depot supply chain is serving the needs of these customers. Absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, the customer is first. And as part of that, the whole selling journey matters. Not, you know, supply chain is absolutely part of the fulfillment side, but it really starts with the selling experience. So every component of the journey for a customer is now connected into our truly interconnected systems, be it you're on the website and you can see what the various fulfillment options are available to you, to the pricing, to how you, the inventory that's available across our network. And then as part of that, we're building out this new network that I was describing. And, and it's really powerful. It allows us for the DIY customer who's working on anything from a simple project to a complex project to be able to get fulfilled they wanna be, and for the pro, the pro classically shops our Home Depot stores for sort of the, the emergency fill-in uh, work that they do. And we are earning the right with this new capability of building this new network out to be able to really support our pro for that pro plan purchase. So that bigger initial part of the project that they have. And if you look at over the course of the next few years, our goal is to grow by over $50 billion. That's an essential ingredient to part of that growth and continuing to support all of our customers in the best way possible uh, to give them fulfillment options that meet their needs. Oh, this is exciting times at uh, Home Depot. How is Google helping you with powering this growing network? Uh, great question. You know, it's really everywhere. 
um, you know, I was kind of talking about that whole selling journey. And at the very beginning of the selling journey, uh, often is our our Home Depot.com e-commerce. And our e-commerce site is powered on Google. You connect from that back into kind of the beginnings of that supply chain piece. We really have what we call an omni-channel algorithm. We like to call it sourcing. And it's really marrying up the customer's preferences with our understanding of capacity, assortment, inventory availability, taking all that together and saying, how do we best meet the customer promise, but be most efficient use of that in our supply chain? So where do we fulfill it from? Where, where is the inventory available? And how do we do it the most economic for us, but still meet the promise of the customer? So that whole component is um, leveraged on Google and is a key ingredient to sort of how we go from selling to the beginning of the fulfillment operation. Within the fulfillment side, we are running our, our warehousing systems on, on Google that support that last mile delivery part of the operation. And then you keep going down the funnel. We got to get inventory into these buildings and we got to replenish it. And so our replenishment algorithms run on Google and support making sure we get the right product in the right amounts to all of our locations, be it DCs or stores in the most efficient uh, manner possible. And so that whole entire journey, we have components where Google is playing a role in that. And then you add on to that, we are continuing to want to optimize all of those components and add machine learning and artificial intelligence into play where it makes sense. So we hugely leverage BigQuery and Vertex AI to be the power behind our, our machine learning practice at Home Depot. Um, so the combination of all of that is how we will win at Home Depot in the fulfillment game and within supply chain. Well, that's exciting. Uh, you know, I speak for all the folks at Google Cloud, but we are incredibly honored to be part of the Home Depot journey. Uh, you know, our time is coming to the end. So I have one final question for you. Absolutely. One is, as you think about the future, Chris, what gets you excited about a couple of things that you want to work on from a supply chain perspective? Yeah, I think uh, two things really stand out the most for me. The first one I was mentioning a little bit on the machine learning side, there is a huge opportunity within the size and scale and variability that happens within supply chain. I think everybody's very aware of all the very different supply chain opportunities that are out there, whether it's on the import side or factories uh, struggling with fill rates. So we can apply machine learning in many different ways to make better, faster decisions to support both how we move our inventory through our supply chain or how we understand available capacity uh, within our supply chain to support customers. So that's one of the big things we're looking at is getting true productionalized machine learning models in place that make a difference. The other one is on the automation front, whether it's inside of our distribution centers and opportunities around automation there or within all of our processes that power our forecasting and replenishment systems to continue to look at, at places where we can optimize and automate uh, what we have out there. Again, to make better decisions and to save, uh, save uh, be more efficient on behalf of Home Depot. Thank you, Chris. We look forward to innovating the future of supply chain with Home Depot and with your team. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. I appreciate you having me and look forward to great continued success between Home Depot and Google. Thank you. Thank you.